Here we're looking at calculation problems. These are multiplication, division, addition and subtraction problems, but in the context of money. The first example says you buy six packs of stickers from the shop. Each pack costs 80p. You pay with a £10 note. How much change should you get? So we need to work out the total cost and then take that away from £10 to work out our change. So we're going to do the total cost, which is 6 times 80p. 6 times 8 is 48, so 6 times 80 is 480. So we've got 480p, or we could write that as £4.80. You pay with a £10 note, how much change should you get? So if we've got £10 and we take away £4.80, now we can do this in our heads, we probably don't need to use our written method. So £10 take away £4 is £6 and then take away 80p is £5 and 20p. Okay, one for you to try, so give it a go. You buy five apples from the shop. Each apple costs 34p. You pay with a five pound note. How much change should you get? So we've got five apples for 34p each. So we're doing five times 34. We can use our written method. So we do five times four, which is 20. So zero in the ones. Carry two over into the tens. Five threes are 15, plus the two is 17. So that's 170. So 170p or one pound and 70, one pound 70p. You pay with a five pound note. So we need to take 170 off of five pounds. So if we used our written method, so that's 500p, take away 170p. Zero take away zero is zero. We can't do zero take away seven. So we'll take one of the hundreds off. That's worth 10 in the tens. So 10 take away seven is three. And four take away one is three. So 330p or £3.30. Here is a different question. So you buy three teas for £1.35 each, two coffees for £1.75 each, and four cakes for £1.85 each. What is the total cost? So we're going to do... 135p times by 3. So 135 times 3. £1.75 times 2. Now we could probably do that in our heads, but I'll do the method. And £1.85 times 4. So I'm going to work this out in pence. So I'm going to do 135p times 3. 175p times 2 and 185p times 4 and then I can either give my answer in p or I can change it back to pounds afterwards. So 3 fives are 15, so 5 in the 1s carry over 1. In the 10s, 3 3s are 9 plus 1 is 10, so 0 in the 10s carry 1 over to the 100s and 3 1s are 3 plus the 1 is 4. For our coffees, two fives are ten, two sevens are fourteen, plus the one makes fifteen, and two ones are two, plus the one is three. And the cakes, four fives are twenty, so zero in the ones carry two over, 
4 eights are 32, plus 2 makes 34. So 4 in the tens carry 3 over, and 4 ones plus 3 is 7, so that's £7.40. So the total cost is £4.5 plus £3.50 plus £7.40. So 5 plus 0 plus 0 is 5. 0 plus 9 0 plus 5 plus 4 is 9, and 7 plus 3 plus 4 is 14. So that's 1495p, or £14.95. Okay, one for you to try, so pause the video and give it a go. So we've got one T, so that's £1.55 or 155p. Three coffees for £1.60 each. So 160p times three. And three cakes for £1.85 each. So I'll do 185p times three. So we'll do the coffees, three zeros are zero. Three sixes are 18, so 8 in the 10s, carry 1 over. And 3 1s are 3, plus the 1 is 4. So £4.80 for the coffees. And the cakes, 3 5s are 15. So 5 in the 1s, carry 1 over. 3 8s are 24, plus 1 makes 25. And 3 1s are 3, plus the 2 is 5. So that's £5.55. So we've got to add up £1.55, £4.80 and £5.55. 5 plus 5 is 10. So 0 and carry 1 over. 5 plus 5 plus 8 plus 1. So 10 plus 9 is 19. 9 in the tens and carry 1 over. And 1 plus 4 plus 5 plus 1 is 11. So that's 1,190p or £11.90p. Here we've got another different question. So you buy a car for £9,000, you pay a deposit of £1,296 and the rest is in 12 equal monthly payments. How much is each monthly payment? So we're going to take away the deposit to find out how much is left to pay and then divide that by 12, share it out between the 12 months. So we'll do 9,000, take away 1,296 first. So we can't do zero take away six. So we're going to have to take one of the thousands, which would be worth 10 in the hundreds. Then one of the hundreds, which would be worth 10 in the tens. And then one of the tens, which would be worth 10 in the ones. So we're going to do 10 take away six in the ones, which is four. Nine take away nine in the tens, which is nothing. 9 take away 2 in the hundreds, which is 7, and 8 take away 1 is also 7. So we've got £7,704 left to pay, and we need to share that out between 12 months. So how many 12s go into 7704 I'm going to write the 12 times table down the side, because that will help us. And I've gone up to a seven. I might not need more, so I'll leave it there for now. How many 12s go into seven? That's zero. We've got seven left over. How many 12s go into 77? That is six. That makes 72. So there's five left over. How many 12s go into 50? 
that's four with two left over. And how many 12s going to 24? That's two. So each monthly payment is 642 pounds. Okay, a similar question. So give this one a go. So you buy a bike for 400 pounds and there's a 96 pound deposit. So 400 take away 96. So we can't do zero take away six. We'll have to take one of the hundreds, which we worth 10 in the tens, and then one of the tens which is worth 10 in the ones. So 10 take away six is four, nine take away nine is zero, three take away zero is three. So we've got 304 pounds left to pay. We're paying in eight payments. So how many eights go in to 304? You can jot the eight times table down. 48, 56, 64, 72, 80, all the way up to 10 I've put. So how many eights going to three? That's zero, three to carry over. How many eights going to 30? Three with, so that's 24, six left over. And how many eights going to 64? That's eight. So each monthly payment is 38 pounds. Okay, finishing up, two questions, pause the video, give them a go, and press play when you're ready for the answers. Question one, a pack of stickers costs 35p. You have 10 pounds to spend on stickers. How many packs of stickers can you buy? So this question is saying, how many 35p's go into 10 pounds? So 10 pounds or 1,000 P divided by 35. So we could do long division with 35 into 1,000. We could simplify it first. So we could say 1,000 over 35. Top and bottom are both in the five times table. So two fives make 10. So 200 fives make 1000. So I could say it's 200 and seven fives are 35 over seven. So I could change the question into how many sevens go into 200. And that would be an easier calculation. It doesn't matter which one you do. I'm going to, I'll do the second one. So I'll write the seven times table down the side. It's easier to write down than the 35 times table. So how many sevens going to two? Zero. How many sevens going to 20? That's two with six left over. Two sevens are 14. So six more to get to 20. How many sevens going to 60? That's eight. And I could carry on and work out what decimals come after it, but I only want to know how many whole packs of stickers I can buy. So the answer is 28. Question two, you buy one T for one pound 50. So I'll do it in pence, so 150. Two coffees for one pound 80 each. And two cakes for two pound 10 each. So we're gonna work out how much change we get from 10 pounds. So we'll work out the total cost first. Two zeros are zero. Two eights are 16. Two ones are two plus the one is three. And two zeros are zero, two ones are two, and two twos are four. So we've got four pounds 20, three pounds 60, 
and one pound fifty. So we've got zero plus zero plus zero, which is zero. Two plus six plus five. Eight plus five is thirteen. And four plus three plus one plus one. Seven, eight, nine. So that's nine pounds thirty. How much change should we get from a ten pounds note? So what's the difference between £10 and £9.30? That's 70p.